I am so excited. Uh, for my little a uh, few minutes this morning, I had planned on talking about what I always talk about, the abuse of toxic testing, and uh, Secretary Duncan and I have had a long discussion about that, and we're still going to be working on uh, fixing that. My point is, I'm not gonna give you that speech. I tore it up. Because this morning, I got an advanced copy of what Secretary Duncan is doing. I'm not sure you understood the historic, yes, the historic foundation that he laid here this morning. This was his announcement that something incredibly good and something incredibly new was happening. He announced that he would charge his Office of Civil Rights to hold local and state politicians accountable for equity, for the civil right for students in our most vulnerable, most marginalized communities to have the same access to a great public school as students in our most affluent communities. That is huge. Equity is a cause that has been the cause of my heart since I was a teacher at the homeless shelter school in Salt Lake City. I believed that every blessed child should be able to walk into that neighborhood school and have everything they needed to make their dreams come true. The secretary is so right on equity. He was right to listen to those wise voices on that commission on equity and excellence that we have so many wonderful commissions that come up with so many wonderful reports and so few people actually read them and implement them. The NEA president before me, Dennis Van Rokel, was on that commission. Tom Science from MALDEF was on that commission. There were so many good people of all races, colors, and creeds that spoke so eloquently that the only path forward was to make sure that children in our poorest neighborhoods had the same opportunity to learn as children in our richest neighborhoods. And we know what equity looks like. Walk into the most impressive, gorgeous neighborhoods and into those impressive, gorgeous schools and you will find the theater department and the chemistry lab and a library full of computers. You know these schools. These are the best schools in the world. Equity means that every school will look like our best school. And when someone says, well, we can't afford that, you can say, like a fearless rabble rouser, si, se, si, puede. You bet you can do that. You did it for these kids, you can do it for every kid. The Office of Civil Rights now, as a priority, as a charge, of the Secretary of Education will investigate claims that children of color, children who live in poverty who, and who do not enjoy the same extracurricular programs, the same advanced placement or gifted and talented programs, the same arts and athletics programs as other children will be held accountable for that. They'll investigate claims that the facilities and the technology and the instructional material are not equally available to all children. They'll investigate claims that critical support services and licensed experienced teachers are not equally available to all children. But, and here's where you come in, they can't investigate those claims unless someone makes the claim. Um, when I found out what the secretary would be announcing today, I was so excited. I asked my NEA staff to stay up late last night. I said, you know, come. Uh, prepared this morning and put something on our website where people can go to and they can talk about the schools they know that they feel are not being given equitable treatment. You can go to nea.org slash equity. In a little box, all you have to do is talk about the school that needs justice. Tell us where it is. Let us pass on that information to the Office of Civil Rights. Do this. It is the mission of the National Education Association to make sure that every public school is as good as our best public school. I am an NEA teacher. It is my mission, and I will fulfill my mission. Give me your hungry students, your poor students, your sick, your abused students. Give me your children who need love 
as badly as they need learning. Give me your children who have talents and gifts and skills and give me those that have none. Give them all to me. Whatever shape they come, whatever language they speak, whatever color their skin, wherever they find God, give them to me. And the people in this public school will give you the doctors and the scientists and the carpenters will give you the lawyers and the ministers and the teachers of tomorrow. We'll give you the mothers and the fathers and the thinkers and the builders and the artists and the dreamers. We will give you the American dream. We will give you the future. Si, se, puede. Mil gracias, hermanos y hermanas.